subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about standardization. In our last classes, we already discussed about the problems that we are facing using numerical data. And we already found some techniques to solve those problems. What are those techniques? Min-max scaling, normalization. We already discussed about this and we already did coding uh, how to solve those problems. Coming to our third technique is uh, standardization. Uh, for understanding standardization, you must have a basic idea about a mean, variance and standard deviation. This we already discussed in our last class. So please follow us from the beginning of the classes so so that you will have a better understanding of the subject uh, hoping that you already watch all those videos uh, and we are moving forward in explaining the standardization uh, so coming to standardization uh, what standardization means is uh, let's take a data set uh, we are having two columns c1 and c2 c1 is having 0, 0, 1, 1, and c2 is having 61 62 63 and 64 Take a column and standardize. Take a second column and standardize. What this standardization will do? Standardization will take a column and scale down the values such that it will scale down the values such that what is scaled down means. Uh, we already discussed this in our previous classes in the data pre-processing class, first class. So watch those videos and come back here. Scale down the values such that the standardized values means after scale downing the values you will get the new values that new values should have a mean 0 and standard deviation 1 okay anyhow we'll take an example we'll understand what this mean is let's take an example c1 column 1 0 0 1 1 so what's the mean of these values take this column what's the mean of these values 1 plus 1 by total how many values are there? 4 different values are there. So divided by 4. Mean is 0 0.5. 2.2 2 divided by 4 means 0 0.5. How to calculate the variance? This is already discussed. So please watch that video and come back here. We are calculating directly here. 0 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 whole square plus 0 minus 0 0.5. Why we are using minus point, uh, 0 0.5? 0 minus mean value. Point, minus 0 0.5 whole square plus 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 whole square plus 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 whole square divided by 4 0 0.5 whole square means 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 which is 1 1 divided by 4 means 0 0.25 so variance value is 0 0.25 how we calculate the standard deviation standard deviation is a sigma is equal to square root of variance 0 0.25 that is equal to 0 0.5 so we took this data and what's the mean of this data is 0.5 what's the standard deviation of this data is 0.5 so now what standardization do is uh, take this data and convert these values to some other values that's that other values should have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of a 1 so how to do that so the equation for this is uh, the new value is z the new value which we have to obtain is z z is equal to x minus mu by sigma mu means mean value sigma means standard deviation value apply this formula we will get the new values so x is equal to this one 0 minus what's the mean for this uh, values 0.5 what's the standard deviation for this values 0.5 0 minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 which is minus 1 the same way next take the 0 0 minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 which is minus 1 1 minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 which is 1 1 minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 which is 1 so we converted these values into new values standardized values those are we call it as a standardized values that standardized values should have a mean 0 and standard deviation 1 let's check the mean of this standardized values minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 means minus 2 plus 2 cancel so what's the mean of these values 
0 divided by 4. So this new standardized values is having a mean of 0. You check the standard deviation for this. It is 1. So how to calculate standard deviation we already discussed. So you check the standard deviation for this values. You, you will get a value of 1. This is what standardization means. Standardization is a technique that scale down the values in such a way such that the new standardized value should have a mean 0 and standard deviation 1. So how to code for this? We already discussed previously how coding is very very simple. So from sklearn.preprocessing import standard scalar. Standard scalar is a class used to do the standardization. So let's take data. So we are importing standard scalar we are taking data is equal to list within a list list within a list is taken as a two dimensional array this is this is how uh, this list within a list is looks like this take the first column standardize take the second column standardize that is what standard scalar will do so now take a standard scalar class we are assigning standard scalar class to a variable called yes now we can use this class and the methods involved in this class class so s dot fit of data we are fitting the standard scalar on a data what's the data is zero what's the fit method will do it will calculate the mean and standard deviation for this column it will calculate the mean and standard deviation for this column and it will be ready to do transformation means it will it will what's the fit method will do is a fit method will calculate the mean and standard deviation calculate the mean and standard deviation so with this mean and standard deviation we can transform these values to standardized values who will do the transformation s dot transform method will do the transformation whenever you apply this method s dot transform of then, then this transform method will do the standard scalar transformation how it will do the it will use the equation 0 minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 the, so the output is looks like this minus 1 minus 1 1 1 and the output for uh, 61 62 these values is uh, minus 1.3416 minus 0 0.4472 minus 0 0.4472 13416 this is how we use the standardization hope you understand the concept now let's check this code we will execute this code in our system this is the program from sklearn.preprocessing import standard scalar standard scalar is a class and we took the data data is equal to it's a multi-dimensional array uh, list within a list which is uh, similar to multi-dimensional array 0 comma 61 0 comma 62 1 comma 63 so on uh, means uh, 0 0 1 1 is one column 61 62 63 64 is one column so we given the variable to standard scalar class the variable name is s s dot fit of data so what's this fit of fit method will do we already discussed and now we are transforming let's execute the code run so here the code has been executed so hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you